Hello guys, my name is Richard Campbell and I'm Head of Trading here at CTR, Corporate to Retail. Now I've been trading over 30 years, 20 of which were spent trading for Lloyds Bank. I then spent the next 10 years in various Head of Trading roles and a number of fund managers and brokers. Now we've been trading here six months and we thought it would be a good idea to put together a short video explaining our journey, briefly discussing where we were at the start, what's happened over the summer months, to where we are now. When we started trading back in May, the corona pandemic was, was at its peak globally. Volatility was high, conditions were tough, and we didn't get off to the best start. Reading charts become incredibly difficult to do. The markets were totally headline driven. It seemed as if on a daily basis, the markets were waiting for the government data releases of new cases, new deaths, before deciding where its next big move would be. We decided to have monthly meetings here, just to discuss the previous month's trading, to discuss what's gone right, to discuss what's gone wrong, to fine tune. We're always looking to improve the situation. We then hit the summer months and things calmed down a little bit. The market found a bit of a trend and over the next three or four months, we put in the returns exactly what we set out to do. We were consistent, we were steady, we were disciplined, we were boring. And that is exactly what we want to do. We're not looking for P&L swings, we're just looking to tick over. Markets were easier to read. We then got to the September months and the pandemic seems to be blowing up again. And conditions are tough. Volatility is back in place. Now I've been trading 30 years and during that time I've seen all sorts of big volatile conditions. 1992 ERM crisis, 9-11, 2007-2008 financial crisis, Brexit, Donald Trump and here we are now with Corona. Volatility is tough. It makes the markets hard to read. The charts lose their significance. One thing we do here at all times is we stick to our rules. We keep our discipline. We don't chase losses. At the moment, there is a bit of a perfect storm brewing within the markets. Not only have we got Corona, we've also got the US elections and we've also got Brexit negotiations. All three of these are massive headline drivers and the markets have changed for the time being. We are patient here, we know when to sit on our hands, we know how to take the emotion out of the game and I think this will remain the case for the next few weeks. Once the election is out of the way that will make a big difference to the markets and will calm down a little bit but during that time we will remain patient. We never trade for the sake of trading. If there's no deal on the table, we don't put a deal on the table. So that trend will come back sooner or later. We will carry on doing what we do best, sticking to those rules, being disciplined at all times. That's kind of where we are now. Um, as I said, we're always looking to improve stuff. We never think we've cracked it. So. We stick to our rules, we stick to our risk parameters, we keep our sensible risk reward trades on, and we just do what we do best. Thanks very much for your time, and um, this is something we will look to do on a regular basis, a brief down over maybe the previous quarter, etc. Um, so thanks again for your time, and uh, take care.